Howdy folks, Brett here. The VLC media player is one of the best to play just about any audio or video file that you throw at it. Not only is it a media player, it also has other cool features that are included most people don't know about. So coming up, I'll show you 16 amazing tips, tricks, and features for use with the VLC media player. Let's get started. Several years ago, we did a video showing off many of the cool features in VLC. Since then, they've added some new features and some have been removed. To make sure you're on the latest version of VLC, go to Help and select Check for Updates. So either update it or close out this window. Going to Help and About will show you the version of VLC you're using. I'm currently on 3.0.20. Now starting out, if you have any Chromecast devices in your house, like a TV powered by Google TV, speakers, or anything else, you can now stream your audio or video from your PC to one of those devices using VLC. To do this, go to Playback and hover your cursor over Renderer. For your devices to show up here, they must be on the same network. Select the device you want to stream to. Let's go with one of the TVs. Now open the file you want to stream by going to Media and Open File. Now select your file, click Open. Now on the device you selected, it'll now be playing. If you selected your TV, you can use your TV remote. This can be a good replacement for the Plex server. If you ever need to record the desktop on your PC, VLC offers a built-in screen recorder that is likely better than what is built into your operating system. To use it, go to Media. Then select Open Capture Device. For Capture Mode in the drop down, select Desktop. In Options, choose the desired frame rate for the capture. At a minimum, you should enter 30. 60 is what I use. Below where it says Play, select the drop down menu and select Convert. Select your video codec from the drop down menu. I prefer the H.264 plus MP3. For destination file, click on Browse, give the file a name, you can change this later on, click Save. Now click on Start to begin your recording. I can't do this now because I'm using another screen recorder to record this segment. And when you're done, go back to VLC and click the Stop button. The recording will be available in the destination you specified earlier. If you want to take a screenshot of a frame in a video you're playing, VLC makes that process simple. Just right click inside the video, hover your cursor over video, and select Take Snapshot. The keyboard shortcut to do this on Windows and Linux is the Shift key plus S key. On Mac, it's Command Alt and S. All screenshots are automatically saved to your pictures folder. If you've ever wanted to set a frame of a video as the desktop wallpaper on your screen, you can do that as well. This might be useful for family videos, your favorite movies, TV shows, or anything else. To do this, click on Video and select Set as Wallpaper. I won't be doing this now. This works great on monitors up to 1080p HD. This monitor I'm using here is 4K, so it wouldn't look very well. But if yours is 1080p or lower, try it out. Many people are unaware that VLC has a graphic equalizer built in, hiding in plain sight. The button for it is here at the bottom of the main window. Here you can play around with the audio effects and video effects. Another way to access the equalizer is to go to the menu bar, click on Tools, and select Effects and Filters. For the audio effects, you would need to tick the box to enable it, and video effects, you would just need to tick the boxes for what you'd like to adjust. Going back to audio effects, there are presets here that you can choose from. If you do make any changes, remember to click on Save here at the bottom. If you're into minimalism to give VLC a cleaner looking user interface, you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Control key and H key. Using that same keyboard shortcut re-enables the full user interface. You can also do this by going to View here at the top and selecting Minimal Interface. But now, since the view is gone here at the top, to get back, you will have to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Control key plus H key. Instead of using a file conversion program like Handbrake to convert an audio or video file to another format, you can now use VLC for that. This works great for simple file conversions. To do this, click on Media here at the top and select 
Convert Save. In the window that pops up, click on Add. Select the file you'd like to convert. Then click on Convert Save. I'm going to change this one from an MP4 to an ASF. Click Browse to choose the file path. Rename your file if you want to. Click Save. And when you're ready, click on Start to begin the conversion process. This could take a few minutes depending on the file. When it's done, the converted file will be in the folder you selected earlier. VLC includes a ton of hotkeys to make it easier navigating VLC. Most of them are keyboard shortcuts with a couple that include a mouse. To see which ones are the defaults, go to Tools, and then Preferences. At the top, click Hotkeys. There's a ton here, including F for full screen, to exit full screen, the escape key, to play and pause, the space key, and there are many others. Let's go back to the top. To change any of these to a new hotkey, double click, press the new key, or combination of keys. For this one, I'll go with Control, Shift, and F. When you're done, click on Save here at the bottom. Real quickly, if you want to record the video or audio playing in VLC, here are the steps. Go to the menu bar and click on View, and select Advanced Controls. And you'll notice in the lower left, a new layer will appear with more controls. I can't fully demonstrate this one because I'm recording the segment, but when you have your audio or video loaded in VLC, to begin recording, click the Record button, and to finish recording, click the Record button again. VLC lets you bookmark parts of a video, making it easier to come back to those points later on. This is especially useful on longer form videos. To add a bookmark, in the menu bar, click on Playback, go to Custom Bookmarks, and select Manage. In the new window, click on Create at the section of the video you'd like to bookmark. You can create as many bookmarks as you like. Let's do another one here. Back to Playback, Custom Bookmarks, Manage, and you'll see below that the one we just created. You can create as many bookmarks for a video that you need, which might come in handy later on. You can add your own watermarks on a video through VLC without the need to download any video editing software. For this one, go to Tools and select Effects and Filters. Click on the tab for Video Effects. Select Overlay. You can add your own logo or text. For this one, I'll show you how to add a logo. So click the box next to Add Logo. Click the Browse icon to find your logo. Select it and click Open. You'll see it showed up here in the upper left. You can move it around by entering the number for the pixel location for top and left, or you can use the up and down arrows here, which I'll do right now. You can also adjust the opacity. So let's lower this down here a little bit. That's good enough. To save the video with the bookmark included, you'll need to use the VLC record feature I showed you earlier. When you're done here, click on save then close it out. Downloading and installing skins for VLC is a great way to customize the look of it and make it cooler. Whether you want it to look modern or nostalgic, there's a skin for you. The link to download skins for VLC is in the description. After downloading a skin to your computer, to install it, go to Tools and select Preferences. With Interface selected at the top, go to the Look and Feel section and select Use Custom Skin. To find it on your computer, Click Choose. Select the skin. This one's called Debian Red Coast. Click Open. Then from here, click on Save. Close out VLC. When you reopen VLC, it'll have that new skin you selected. If you're like a lot of people, then you probably watch videos in full screen. You could hit F on your keyboard when the video starts, or double click on a video while it's playing to do this. But if you want every video to start playing in full screen, go to Tools, select Preferences. In Video, in the Display category, check the box next to Full Screen. Then click on Save. Now every time you open a video, it will automatically launch in full screen. In addition to being a great media player, 
play your video and audio files. VLC also has a feature that will let you play internet radio stations and podcasts within VLC. To add a podcast, turn on the left below internet, click on the plus to the right of podcasts, enter the podcast RSS feed URL into the box, and click on OK. That one I just did was for TechCrunch, and that's here on the left. You can remove podcasts you've added by clicking on the minus next to it. And below those podcasts, there's a couple of directories with tons of internet radio stations to choose from. You just need to double click and they'll load up here on the right. Well, here's one that's quite different. VLC has a feature that will turn any frame of video into a jigsaw puzzle. Here's how you do it. Click on tools and select effects and filters. Go to the tab for video effects. Check the box next to puzzle game. You can change the rows and columns on here. This will make it more complicated. And when you're done with that, click on save. All that's left to do is solve the puzzle. Best of luck. To undo the puzzle game, uncheck the box I showed you earlier. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you use an amazing VLC feature not mentioned, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and make sure to click the bell so you don't miss out on our latest tutorials and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.